Hey guys, Omar here. I'm in New York City doing some street photography, taking the Fuji X-T20 out in the wild. What I'm finding is just, it, it's crazy overwhelming if you're trying to test everything. I'm like trying to test film simulation. I'm trying to test autofocus, the different focus modes. So I have to calm down. By the way, I'm filming this on the Fuji X-T20. On the Fuji, you can set a bracket of something. And a bracket is it can take three shots of whatever you want. So I set up my bracketing to give me the film simulation. So I don't know what I got, but we'll take a couple of look at those pictures. So here's how you set up a bracket. Just hit your menu button, go to the camera icon and go to drive setting. And here you can pick your bracket settings. And then I picked three different film simulations, standard, classic, chrome and acros. Uh, and if I go back, you can actually go to bracket number two. And I went also to film simulation and I picked three other ones. Delvia, uh, neutral standard and uh, black and white with a red filter. All right, so we're back in the lab. We're back in the lab, the back cave. Let's look at the pictures and see what we got. Um, so this is the standard Provia film simulation. So again, I used a bracketing. Uh, so pretty much if I took one picture, it took three pictures. Uh, the first set was Provia, uh, then it went to classic Chrome, and then it went to Acros or Acros. I actually don't know how to say it, but there's a guy on YouTube, Ted Vieira, who says Acros, and he has the coolest voice in the world. I'm gonna link him up uh, so you can listen to him, but he's fantastic. Uh, and then the second bracket, I would switch my camera and take another shot, and it would do the following three. It would do Velvia, um, it would do, uh, it's called Pro Neg Standard, and then a black and white. Now the black and white had a red filter on it, and if you put a red filter on black and white uh, photographs, it, it makes the blues uh, darker and richer. Um, so I wish I would have just did a flat black and white just to test it against the Agros, uh, but I bonehead, I had that filter on. Um, so any kind of blues on the motorcycle are gonna turn very, very dark black. So let's go back here and start with standard and we're gonna compare uh, just what standard looks like to the others. Well, let me talk about standard. It, there's a reason it's the standard Provia. It's like great colors, great contrast, and that is your go-to. I mean, it's my go-to anyway. The colors, I just love, fantastic. It makes some beautiful JPEGs. Here are the yellows and this little orange in the back of the bike look fantastic. So definitely the go-to. And let's look at our next. Okay, Classic Chrome is, if you just Google Classic Chrome, you'll see that's like gorgeous Fuji-like um, film quality to it. It's muted, it's got like a bluish kind of gray tone to it, which is really nice. Uh, so definitely fun. I like the classic Chrome. It's very cool to play with. Acros, I, I love this film simulation for things like this, for objects, for uh, still life, for people and street photography, not totally sure yet. Um, I'll get to that in a second. Let me just keep going here. The Velvia, uh, is it Velveeta? No, that's the cheese. Um, <laughs> I I love, this is like punchy, great. Some, sometimes it's a little too super saturated, so it would work for, um, you know, like fun, kids, maybe balloons, the boardwalk, uh, clowns, <laughs> I think would work in this film simulation, and landscapes. Like greens look fantastic with this film simulation, so I loved it for that. For people and skin, no, 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 no good, no good. Uh, and then I shouldn't have even put this one in there, but the uh, pro negative standard is a very flat. And if you look, if we look in the shadows, like the shadows are very, um, uh, you know, they can see the shadows a little bit more. So it's very flat. It's kind of boring that one. Now there is another, another film simulation called pro negative high, which is a little more um, classic chrome looking. And I think that one's a little nicer. I wish I would have played with that one a little bit more. And there's the black and white. If we look at the Acros and the black and white with the red filter on there, I mean, I can't really tell the difference. Uh, and it looks like the, what's cool about the Acros, it seems to have some kind of grain built into it, which looks really cool. Um, it just looks good. This, I mean, but this one looks fantastic too. I always, I always like that red filter on the, on the film, which is cool. All right, so that was the motorcycles, very nice. 
Uh, and then for just a regular street scene here, uh, here I had the flip screen down on the Fuji X-T20 and was on the ground. And this woman just crossed the street and came over. And so this is the standard, which is totally nice and typical. Here's the classic chrome. Now I'm not sure if on the video you're seeing the exact colors that I'm seeing. So I am going to link up a gallery with these photos so you can actually download the download the uh, download them, look at them, check them out, see what the colors look like on your monitor. And this is Acros, which is great for street photography. I just think there's just way too much black and white street photography. Like everyone just puts their camera on black and white, I feel. It's, if you Google street photography, I mean, most of it's all black and white. Um, and I kind of know why it, uh, it lets you focus on your subject a little bit more, but I feel like it's so overdone and I'm a color guy. I like color. I totally goofed here. I wanted to like focus on her. She's the main subject, but for some reason, I don't know what the camera, she, she's blurry either because of um, either motion I, I, you know, if you like look at her shoe here, it looks kind of like it's in focus and her back is not in focus. But what's weird is it's not like, you see the sign back here is in focus. This garbage can that writes, that's right next to her is pretty sharp. Um, and so is the sign back here. So I don't, I think she's got motion going on, which, and my shutter speed was 125th, which isn't great. So kind of botched that one, sorry guys. But we're not testing that, we're testing film simulation. <laughs> All right, for buildings, let me go through these real quick. I felt like Acros worked fantastic for architecture, for the motorcycle. Acros just like, it's crunchy. Like the blacks are so nice, you know, like right in here in these windows and everything. I just like the look of that. That's I will definitely play with this film simulation a lot more for architecture, even for landscapes. I think it's great. Um, so here's the standard totally fine the skies look great um, classic chrome I wasn't crazy about what classic chrome did to the skies they turn into like a strange weird aqua uh, but they do something nice to the buildings and I'll show you that in a second with the um, the Empire State Building I already mentioned Acros <laughs> Velvia is like color steroids uh, but it's fun I mean these the color on this building shows up great like these nice rich reds so that would totally work uh, but I don't like what it did to the sky. It becomes kind of like a weird violet. So I don't know if I would use that. Pro Neg Stand, boring. I mean, but what might be good about Pro Neg Standard is if you're going to sort of um, edit these, you know, so uh, bam, you know, one of my crazy hair dance is one of my presets. Uh, and so you can take Pro Neg Stand as like a base. It doesn't have a lot of contrast, doesn't have a lot of stuff. So you can totally just do your own you know post-processing on it okay let's reset that puppy oh my god it's so underexposed next let's go back to this ba -ba 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 -ba. regular black and white no i'm not totally crazy about that now this guy super cool he saw that i was there so i wanted to take a quick picture it's not a great picture i mean the guy was super cool looking i wanted to take a shot of him straight on uh, but he saw me, so I kept walking, and then I kind of looked down on the flip screen. Uh, but he's, he still looks pretty cool. So Classic Chrome, not crazy about it in Classic Chrome. And Acros, typical <laughs> street photography and black and white. Uh, but, I mean, this guy looks cool in any, in any film simulation. Now here I was... Uh, I was actually trying different things on the camera and, and nothing was coming out with what I had in my head, which is something that was a lot grungier and brighter. Uh, but here's the standard. Uh, and what do we got next? Classic Chrome, too muted for what I was going for. Acros looks cool, but all these tones are kind of the same. And let me show you, bam! <laughs> which brings up the question, you know, uh, I do love the JPEGs that come out of the Fuji. They're fantastic. But sometimes when you're, you're you have something in your mind, you have to post-process the image. I feel so. This is kind of what I was thinking when I saw all this grunge and this like these colors. Uh, so I love the film simulations, but you guys may need to you know if you want like a specific look, you're gonna have to of course post-process or play around with all the like the saturation and stuff. But it, this was so quick, 
in Lightroom to do. Uh, foot selfie, this I will compare the three and they're just subtle differences here. Let me check them out, check them out, whoa, check them out, check them out. And I think Velvia here worked the best, uh, you know, to show up these purples that were on the sidewalk there, which are very cool. Uh, this is the standard, which I thought was a little boring, and classic chrome looked cool. Again, sometimes you can't even tell the difference, so. Now here, a shot of the Empire State Building from 23rd Street. I felt that classic chrome looked the nicest. Like, it looked kind of classic city-ish. It's a little underexposed, by the way. Let me boost the shadows a bit. Um, but I, I like classic chrome for the city. This, the, the city just looks really cool. It looks kind of... I don't know, it has like a classic look to it if you look up here in the buildings. Those tones are nice. The classic chrome is great for New York. Here's the standard, so you can see that. Put the shadows up again, bam, bam, bam. Uh, and it's it's standard, it's totally fine. Great colors, the sky looks good. But for some reason I like this. I don't know, I, I can't put a, put words on it. Agros kicks butt with, I feel, buildings and everything. And um, I mean, if you look over here, it's got um, an awesome sort of grain going on and cl classic acros. I love that. Classic Chrome New York building here. I don't love the sky on classic Chrome, but I do love what the, what happens to buildings. So definitely gonna look gonna play around with that a little bit more. This is the standard, and the standard sky looks a little pukey there too. I don't know why, but it might be the direction I was pointing this at the sky. Uh, and standard, meh, boring. Ooh, ooh, ugh, no, does not work for me. Okay, uh, nice taxi driver, got to talk to him. Uh, I thought this was boring in black and white, and classic chrome, it doesn't say yellow New York cab, so I think, like, for me, street photography cab would be standard like this, and I'll show you the three of them so you could see. Um, Let's see that. See what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? Let me look at these two. So I, this is just like a little too, I don't like people in classic chrome. I don't think, not yet anyway, not yet. I'm liking the buildings though. In classic chrome, like they, the buildings look great. Um, I like that look. I don't know what it is. I can't put a, you know words into it. There's the uh, standard, classic chrome. Standard, classic chrome. Standard, great, they're both great. I love this guy. He looked over, he's like, hey, how you doing? Uh, nice, this is uh, standard. The yellow coming through the store looks really nice, but classic chrome looks cool. Let me let me compare those so you could see. And uh, here we go, standard on the left. You've got like nice punchy yellows, but this one, the, you know, likes nice muted colors. I think that looks pretty cool. And yeah, I mean, I like it. I totally like it. But again, it's it's kind of like flavors, like whatever you want. Eight gross street photography. Looks a little under there, a little underexposed. Uh, now, the, his pose is different here because this, again, is the other bracket. So remember, I set my bracket to be three shots. So th these were the first three. Uh, classic Chrome, eight gross, uh, oops, sorry. Uh, Velvia, um, Pro Neg Standard, and Black and White with the, the red filter were the next three. Uh, and here, I like the I like the Velvia. This works kind of cool. This might even be better than the standard. So you see with the film simulations, like it it might not be a one size fits all. Like if I'm pointing towards a building, like classic chrome it. If I'm going for this scene, like where you want something a little punchier, you can switch the film simulation. Now what's cool is you don't have to shoot just JPEG. You can actually shoot JPEG and RAW. And in camera, you can totally process your RAWs. You know what, let me show you that right now. If you shoot in JPEG and RAW, basically what you can do is in the playback menu, that was a photo I was playing back, you'll see the top option is a RAW conversion. If you go to the right, you can do stuff in camera to your RAW photo. And one of them is you can play around with the film simulation. So you go like this and you pick what you want. Let's pick something crazy, Acros. And uh, you hit okay and then it says, hey, hit the Q button to create it. You create it, it processes it, and it's done. But the photo is not done yet. You actually have to store it, and it'll store it as a JPEG if you hit OK, and then it's done. OK, we back. Bam, let's keep going. Uh, again, choices. It was St. Patrick's Day. It was pre-St. Patrick's Day when I was in New York. Standard, but uh, look at Velvia. Velvia sort of has like a, or is it Velvia? I don't know. 
correct me in the comments. Is it Belvia? Belvia? <laughs> I don't want to call it Belvita. Uh, classic Chrome Fail. Classic Chrome, you want those like Irish beautiful greens. So um, Standard worked totally fine and uh, Velvia was great too. This is an example of where I thought all three film simulations worked. Let me show you that. Uh, they just have different feels, you know, like Standard was punchier. Uh, classic Chrome was a great street scene, you know, like a little bit more muted and film-like. And the Acros was your typical like black and white street photography, which was cool. A lot going on in this picture, no real subject. So um, whatever, whatever. But here's one where, <laughs> you know, I took pictures of these. If you go to New York, these are everywhere, these these carts. Um, and uh, I, I think Velvia here works the best because like they have all this you know, these food, like the color, the pictures, all this food, uh, where if you look at classic Chrome, it looks pukey, like the food looks horrible. So again, pick the film simula simulation for what works with the subject. I even felt standard didn't have enough vibrance in this picture. So, and pro neg standard, I don't think I would ever use pro neg standard actually looking at that, but Velvia I think works for this picture for what I was going for. It might not work for you. You might think it's too, overly saturated and pukey, and I could totally see that. Now, skin-wise, I went, um, this is the sushi day with my son, and uh, this is Provia, this is standard, and it is awesome for skin. I mean, his skin looks great. Uh, look how sharp this is, guys. Oh, ha, ha. that's nice. Um, and I think it, it's, it's a go-to for skin, for sure. I felt some of the other ones did not work at all for skin. Here's classic chrome. Uh, let me compare them so you could see. I'll keep them compared. So there's the standard. Let me go in a little closer. Whoa, he's got a little schmegma on his face. Uh, classic Chrome, not so crazy about. Velvia, man, just too saturated. His ears like got really red. Uh, this is, I don't know what this one is. Hold on. This looks like Pro Neg Stand. No, here's Pro Neg High. So this one I tried Pro Neg High. Now these actually I. I didn't bracket these. These I shot in RAW and I got to post-process them in the camera, which was cool. So I got to try all the film simulations. So here's Pro Neg High. Here's Pro Neg Standard, which uh, is that flat, you know, no contrast. So this is what I was telling you, that Pro Neg High is pretty nice. Acros, eh, I don't know. I'm not crazy about skin in Acros. But then Acros you can add filters to. So here's Acros Yellow. See, let me get my his hand out of your face. Uh, Acros Red looks horrible. Acros Green. <laughs> Here's Fuji Black and White. And anyway, I'll put these up and you can look at them, but they do all kinds of weird stuff to skin. I saw Cap! Cap! All right, so here's some more fun stuff. Here's the, here's the standard full array. Let me start with standard so you can see what Cap looks like. This looks like standard. Is it? Totally, Provium. So, Looking awesome, Cap, the colors are great. Like it totally picked, it, it picked out the correct colors. You know, that's what he looks like in real life. So you gotta make sure you have a good white balance too, because if your white balance is too, if your room is too orange, then Cap is not gonna look like this. So before I took this picture, I did a uh, custom white balance to totally make sure that the room, you know, those are the colors that I want. And then fooled around with the film simulation. So let me just keep him up and then you can compare the other ones. Sorry if I'm driving you crazy here. So uh, compare these, okay. So Velvia is on the right, he's just punchier colors, but if he was a real person, it would really like mess up his skin. Bam, classic chrome, he looks cool in classic chrome. He looks like, you know, he looks like Cap from the 40s. So that's nice, look what it does to the blues. The whites become kind of like muted, which is really nice. And skin works here. I mean, but he's plastic, so I don't know. Um, this looks like I, this is Pro Neg High. And Pro Neg High looks good. It's got good contrast, muted colors. I'll show you where's Classic Chrome, Pro Neg High. Let me show you these two. So um, cl Classic Chrome. Pro Neg High, you know, Pro Neg High has colors that are more like the original, like the standard one. Classic Chrome has its own thing going on, but I like the contrast in that. Here's Pro Neg High versus um, this flat one. Is this the flat one, Pro Neg? No, this is Classic Chrome, sorry, totally confusing you. 
one, two, here we go. So this is proneg high and this is proneg standard. Uh, and proneg standard just like kills the contrast. You know, everything's kind of flat, but you may want that. You know, you may want that as kind of like a flat profile so you want to play with later. But this proneg high looks cool. I kind of like that. All right, and then uh, this is Acros, and he looks totally cool in Acros. But I want to show you something that filters. You know, here the colors are all kind of one, and we know he's red, white, and blue. And here's what's cool: what you can kind of do with some of the. I'll just go through them really quick. These are all the different filters. So here we go: Acros yellow, Acros red, Acros green. Look what green did to the reds there. So you can totally, and even his helmet, helmet changes. You see that? So you can actually mess with the filters if you're gonna take a black and white picture. And I recommend just doing this later in camera and seeing what you get. Oh my gosh, do not shoot sepia. Do not shoot sepia. Why is that even up there? Oh my gosh, okay, let's go back to it. All right, so that's pretty much it, guys. What did we learn? We learned that none of this actually matters. This is all for fun. Try them out, see what works for you, but in the end, if our pictures are sucky, it doesn't matter if we put classic chrome on them. They're just gonna be classic chrome sucky. So really taking good photographs is better than any of these film simulations, but they are definitely fun to play with. Um, I would think, I think better than bracketing is to play with them in the camera in different situations like you know skin and, and sports and anything you're shooting and then see what works best for you. And bottom line, you can always put your flavor on there. All right. That's it, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.